So just three days ago, Android 15 was launched on Pixel devices. Of course, I made a video going over what the biggest features, or at least my perception of what the biggest features are in that Android 15 update. But now that it's been a few days, we are starting to see at least a couple of places where there might be some problems. One thing that I'm gonna talk about is definitely a bug. Another thing I'm hoping is a bug that's going to get fixed, but both do need to at least be quickly mentioned. So let's quickly look at my Pixel 9 Pro Fold and what's going on. So the first one that is definitely something that's not working as advertised can be found inside our home settings. If you scroll down to app list settings, you will see show long app names. The idea here is that certain applications in your app drawer, let's just scroll down and find one. How about Ecovax or DraftKings? You can see that they're being truncated. They have dot, dot, dot instead of the entire full name. You're supposed to be able to turn this on and get rid of that. It's supposed to show the entire name, but as you can see, it doesn't always seem to work. Under Ecovax Home, that is working. Under DraftKings, it's not working. So it's just not fully functional for whatever reason. The idea that it's supposed to truly show the long app names, well, it just isn't. Future editor Shane having to step in here because guys, I had already completed this video and published it and only a few hundred of you had actually seen it. So I think I caught it relatively quickly, but I was over on threads having some conversations about what's going on here. And I started doing some deeper digging and I looked at the two applications I'm gonna show you that are losing their tablet layout. And I uninstalled their updates because there was an update right after Android 15 and that did restore the tablet layout. So I'm gonna let this next portion play so that you can see what's going on. But just be aware, this was not caused by Android 15. This was caused by an app update to these two applications. The other thing, which is something I actually just noticed this morning because I was doing my one year review of the OnePlus Open, so I wasn't using the Pixel 9 Pro Fold until this morning. Sim went back in and I immediately discovered a problem, which I discovered inside YouTube Music. If we fire up YouTube Music and we go into our uh, sort of now playing section, the song that is currently playing, what you will see here is that we are not getting the tablet layout. If I rotate the device, and it's going to mess up my scaling here, you can see that now I do get the tablet layout. I'm supposed to get it even in this layout, in the portrait layout, holding this thing vertically. That was something that they did with the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Now, typically the way that this works is Google apps look to see if a device is wider than it is tall in order to determine if it should get the tablet layout or not. So in one sense, it actually makes sense that you don't get it this way and you do this way, but they had made it work even in this portrait layout. It was something that I talked about in my review of the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. It's something that I praised them for because I want that layout. It's a big screen and it still makes sense even held vertically, but it is currently with this update no longer working. Now, some applications, it is still working. Applications like Google Keep, you still get your two panel layout, but some applications like YouTube Music and also the phone app, to the best of my recollection, you would get this layout even when you were holding the thing vertically and it is no longer delivering that layout. So something has happened, something has gone wrong with the way that tablet layouts are being delivered. I also kind of want to remind you that for whatever reason, from the very beginning, Gmail hasn't been working this way already. We'll just fire up my personal Gmail account. And you can see that it is not in a dual panel layout. If I rotate it, hey, there is a dual panel layout. So Gmail has been like this for whatever reason. I don't know why, but now these other apps are joining it. And Google, if anyone is listening, please fix YouTube music. I want my dual panel layout. It's so good. And I don't know why you've taken it from me. I'm assuming it was by mistake. But if I could get fixed and let's fix Gmail and let's fix the phone app too while we're at it, that would be awesome. I guess I should also quickly mention that some people are reporting some issues with the back gesture on these slab style phones coming in from the right side 
I'm not having any such issues with it. My back gesture seems to be fine. So it's not something I can really report, but I can tell you that other people have said that it's something that's happening to them. And then other people are also reporting that when you are doing your material, you theming. So if I go into wallpaper and style that these colors that you can choose from here that they're getting like a very limited selection of colors again i've not seen this i've actually changed my wallpaper uh since installing this and everything seems fine to me but i'll at least pass it along um just in case you're experiencing that and you're wondering if you're the only one i am seeing other people say that it's happening to them too so overall nothing too crazy i am definitely bummed out about the tablet layouts in certain applications hopefully someone's watching and sees this and it gets addressed at some point in the uh, relatively near future if you've come across anything else though drop a comment down below and kind of report it and we'll see if anything else is going on guys thanks for watching subscribe for more content like this and until next time Stay nerdy, my friends.